Big Turkey Alashik and Canelo Alvarez, they going at it now. After Turkey basically called Canelo Alvarez a P-U-S-S-Y, Canelo has now came back and he's responded. I'm going to let you know what's going on with all of this back and forth, what Canelo Alvarez just had to say right now. Also, what Turkey said about Canelo last night, we're going to go over all of this and we also going to break down how I was wrong about Terrence Bud Crawford. Before we do all that, make sure you hit my like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's cook on it. So yeah, y'all make sure y'all hit my like button. Now, the first thing that I want to do in this video before I get to the, you know what I'm saying, the nitty gritty of the video is I want to let everybody know that yesterday, the video that I made saying basically I felt that it was probably Terrence Bud Crawford that had a change of hearts. And that was the reason why Turkey came out and said that he wasn't interested in the Canelo Alvarez Crawford fight anymore. Well, I was wrong about that because now I found out it wasn't Terrence Bud Crawford. This was all on Canelo. So we gonna get into that. But man, Canelo Alvarez, he got this trash fight coming up. I'm not interested in it, you know. Um, I might watch the undercard because I, I do rock with Caleb Plant, you know. Um, and, you know, I, I, I like Danny Garcia and Laura, even though they both old as hell, you know. But uh, other than that, I, I'm not interested in the Canelo Alvarez fight. Uh, call me what you want to, but uh, you, you got to do better than this. Uh, and Turkey, he feels the same way. He's seeing that Canelo Alvarez is trying to maneuver his way around the sport, getting big money, fighting easy throwaway fights. And if you look at Canelo's whole career, he's only really fought a few fights that you can really say, okay, man, he took a big risk. That was Bavall. That was the first two Triple G fights. The Laura fight. And Floyd Mayweather. And, you know, he either lost those fights or he won a razor thin decision that a lot of people think he lost. You know what I'm saying? He ain't never fought no fight that was really, really, you know, that we could say, okay, he's taking a huge risk and perform well. You know what I'm saying? Now, I do give him that second Triple G fight. I, I thought he put on a hell of a performance and, you know, uh, won that fight pretty much, you know, convincingly. All the rest of them, you know, hey, you got 50% of people saying he lost, you got 50% of people saying he won. So now that he took this loss to Bavar, he don't want no smoke with no type of fights that he believes is a threat to him. So he moving like he moving. Now, as far as the Terrence Bud Crawford fight, don't get me wrong. I think that Bud is in over his head. You know, uh, Canelo just too big, coming up three weight classes after really coming up from, I don't even know how many weight classes, if you count, you know, Bud coming up from 135 early in his year, it, it's just too much. But you know, um, Canelo, man, his last like five fights, they've been trash fights. Fights that a uh, fighter of his caliber that's getting paid as much as he's getting paid. We shouldn't let this go on as fans. We shouldn't be supporting this. So Turkey, he feels this way. And so, you know, um, recently Turkey came out and he said that, you know what? He changed his mind on trying to make Terrence Bud Crawford and Canelo Alvarez. Now, I thought that it was Bud Crawford who had a change of hearts with his team. You know, seeing that the, you know, weight is just too much and, you know, he wasn't willing to go up that far and wait unless he was just going to get paid a astronomical amount of money. Right. But like I said, I was wrong. And this is the reason why Turkey changed his mind on Canelo Alvarez and Tans Bud Crawford. This is what Canelo said out of his own mouth. I'm going to play Canelo's audio and then. We're going to talk about what um, Turkey had to say after that. And we also going to talk about what Canelo Alvarez's response to what Turkey said last night. Let me um, let me play this audio for y'all real quick. Listen to this. Um, 
my response to Turkey is this. Yesterday they text me. They text me and say we can talk about the fight in February with Crawford. Yeah. They come. They text me yesterday and I say, look, I'm not gonna talk about any other fight. I'm focused 100% on this fight. Look, I don't like the way he talk, and I'm not in this position because of any i'm in this position if he wants to work with me it's in my way knowing their way what was i don't need it what, what didn't you like about how he approached like what was it's, it's, it's not that it's, it's not the the, the, the yeah, way I, to approach it's not the way to approach to me look i respect everybody and i respect turkey but I look if if he wants to work with me is need to be in my way okay so so he said he don't like how Turkey approached him. And, you know, Canelo got that attitude like he runs boxes. So he also, hey, I call all the shots. It's my way. You know what I'm saying? I tell you what to do. I tell y'all what I'm going to do. And y'all going to make it happen. That's kind of like the attitude that Canelo has because he been on top of boxing so long. And, he has, and he's had money for so long, right? He got that rich, snobby attitude. That's just what it is. And then Turkey, he got way more money than Canelo could even fathom. And he got that arrogant attitude when he wants some shit done. So, you know, they button heads. But Canelo goes on to say, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford needs to fight Tio Fimo Lopez. Tio has done enough in boxing to deserve that fight. And kind of insinuated, okay, fight T.O. And then I might think about fighting you, which was just ignorant. Don't nobody want to see Terrence Bud Crawford and T.O. Fimo fight? Like, that's wor a lot worse than Bud Crawford going up to fight Canelo. Like, and, and, you know, Canelo did the same thing with David Benavidez saying, okay, well, won't you fight all these other fighters? And then you fight Caleb Plant and all these other fighters and then I'll fight you. But he never did. So, you know... It's just a no, you know, um, basically what it is, is Canelo Alvarez is asking for way, way, way more money than the fight is even worth. And Turkey is like, nah, I'm not doing that. But this is what Turkey had to say in response to Canelo. And then I'm going to come back, like I said, and I'm going to let y'all know what Canelo response to what Turkey had to say was now i'm gonna read y'all this what turkey had to say make sure y'all hit my like button you know what i'm saying hit the like button show some respect so this is turkey's response he says i heard what canelo said that he respects me but doesn't like the way we do business as for him respecting me it doesn't matter to me if he does or not as for the way i do business i know why he don't like it because i only target big fights at fair prices so, of course, anyone who likes easy fights won't like that. And I know how he feels after losing to Baval. So he's been looking for easier fights ever since. Also, I'm not the one who's afraid of fighting Benavidez or Crawford. Therefore, I knew he was wasting our time and making excuses with big amounts of money that can't be paid. So I'm continuing my way to make big fights that serves the boxing world. And he's on his way to make it easy show only fights. And he basically calling Canelo, basically calling the P-U-S-S-Y. Like, you scared to fight Crawford and you scared to fight Benavidez. And you making big money demands that you know it's not possible to be paid out. $200 million. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, what he's saying about Canelo is absolutely right. That's how Canelo been moving. Now, as far as him being afraid of Terrence Crawford, I, it's hard for me to say that he's afraid of Terrence Bud Crawford. I think that's a fight that he looks at as, you know, okay, I know Bud, this is, this is what he's thinking. I know Bud only wants a big payday. If I go in there and beat him up, I'm going to get criticized, right? But then... It's a small, small chance that I don't look good against him and I'm definitely going to get crucified. So it's a lose-lose situation for me. Now, you're getting criticized for Berlanga. You've been getting criticized from all of the real boxing fans. 
with the competition that you've been fighting, like your last four or five fights. It's all it's been criticism, as it should be criticism. So I'm looking at the situation that if you fighting the type of opponents that you've been fighting, like your last five fights, you might as well fight Terrence Bud Crawford is that if that's who you're gonna fight. You know what I'm saying? You might as well fight him. What's the difference? You feel me? So that's just how I feel about the situation. But I, I don't know if I could just believe that he's afraid of Bud Crawford, but it's that slight chance of him taking the L. Now, when it comes to Benavidez, man, he afraid of Benavidez, straight up and down. But Canelo Alvarez, he responds to what Turkey had to say, and he just puts a bunch of laughing emojis. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm laughing at this ish because I'm already paid and you ain't gonna make me do nothing. I run this ish. And that's how Canelo feel, man. He laughing because he feel like he run ish. You know, but uh, this is the thing, right? If Turkey continues to put on like he been putting on, right? And paying the top fighters to fight other top competition, all that ish that Canelo Alvarez and a few of these other dudes that think they run boxing, all that shit gonna be out the window, right? Because Canelo, he holds the keys because a lot of these fighters, man, to do anything to take a Canelo fight because of the money, right? That's all it's about, because of the money. But if Turkey say, okay, you know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta wait on Canelo to get paid. Right, you ain't gotta wait on Canelo or Tank or whoever it may be to get paid. As long as you fighting top, you know what I'm saying, competition and taking these risks, I'm gonna pay you the same amount that you gonna get if you fight a Canelo or Tank. That's gonna X all of that BS out. Because see, a lot of y'all, y'all used to two, three people, you know what I'm saying, running boxing. Nah, man, he Xing that out. And a lot of boxing fans, man, that's fanatics of just one or two fighters. They don't like that because they know their favorite fighter is going to have to fight the top competition. You know, it should have get off the pot. And I'm feeling it just as long as he keep moving how he been moving. But we got to see, you know, only time will tell. But yeah, man, I feel what he's saying about Canelo. Canelo, he thinks that he can just continue to take easy, easy fights. Um, and make, you know, his 30, 40 million doing it. And Turkey, he trying to stop that. He like, man, nah, you gonna have to fight the tough fights. And so we gonna see, man, but uh, yeah, I feel what Turkey's saying, man. I, I do, I agree exactly what he said. Canelo is afraid to take on tough competition and he don't like the way that Turkey moving because he wanna be able to rush shit and take all easy fights. It is what it is. Y'all let me know how y'all feel. Drop a comment in the comment section. Make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And y'all already know how I do. Tango talking that boxing again. And I'm gone.